What's up? Welcome to your Daily Sweat. It's your boy, Chris. Super pumped about the very first day of our Too Hot to Handle summertime workout. Calisthenics, full body, calories about to be burned, muscles about to be gained. Let's jump right into it. So get into some jumping jacks. Three, two, one, and go. Getting some blood flow. So today, I will be your pace buddy. Um, look, between Jennifer and I, we're going to lead you through these next 60 days and your goal is just to get better all right so we got some kick butt movements some things that's going to challenge you but without challenge there's no change if we want the change we got to challenge ourselves okay give me five more seconds four three two and relax all right let's get some big walking kicks big big punter kicks if you're a football person today um i think the mindset is just to get better all right I, i'm not I'm not gonna tell you to do X amount of reps. I'm not gonna tell you that you need a certain amount of weight to be good. Today, I want you to disconnect and just freaking get better, man. Come on. Hoping everybody is having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this workout. But be ready to get it on and pop it. 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and relax. All right, let's go into side lunges. Opposite leg, stay straight. I like to poke that toe up a little bit. Stand tall, do it all over again. Getting those adductors nice and loose. Waking up those glutes and hamstrings. Keep your stomach nice and tight. Today, you will earn a sweat. I do a sweat check in the middle. I'll walk up to the, the camera to get my little sweat check with you guys. All right, come on. Give me another 15 seconds. Beautiful. Getting nice and loose for an amazing routine. Day one, as we mentioned earlier, in our 60s, 60 workouts that we're going to be doing in our Too Hot to Handle Summer Program. Five, four, Three, two, one, and relax. All right, I wanna go into a big squat, and then I want you to bring your knee to your chest. So shoulders pinch back, feet on your hips, toes out. I want you to go into that big squat. Bring that knee up to your chest. Beautiful movement to get us nice and loose for today's movements. And today's movement, since it's a work along workout, you only have four of them. Each movement will be done for a total of one minute. Again, I'm not asking for reps today. I'm just asking for sustainable speed and good tempo. Each movement will be for one minute. 30 second break in between. After we finish all four movements, we'll get an additional 30 seconds, which will give us a one minute recovery. And then we're gonna repeat that thing five times today. Yeah, buddy. All right, come on, give me another 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, so what today's workout, we have four movements, right? On these four movements, um, one minute workloads, okay? The first one's gonna be a core movement in an incline position. Use your chair, your couch, whatever you have in an incline position. And if you don't have it, cool, just use the ground. We're gonna go opposite knee to opposite elbow. Second movement, very simple movement, step ups. Get onto that chair, couch, plyo box, whatever you're gonna be utilizing. And if you don't have it, it's cool. We're gonna do reverse lunges instead. Third movement, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge up to a opposite knee with a twist. Fourth and final movement will be a jump rope. Don't worry if you didn't remember anything I just said, because we're about to jump right into it. Let me get ready to start my clock. Give me a fist pump, boom. All right, here we go. My clock starts in 10 seconds. I want you to grab that chair. Um, couch. We're going to be in a plank position. Hips are in. Three, two, one, and notice. I'm bringing that opposite knee to my opposite elbow. I am not worried about speed right now. I just want good, good tempo. Good, good tempo. Keeping those hips down, contracting that core, blowing the air out every single time. And in doing so, as this is our first movement of the 60-day 
workout plan that we have planned for you guys. We want to make sure our core is activated and it's going. Clock says we are about halfway. Keep it going. I'm gonna get a 30 second break. And then in that 30 second break, I will explain the movement. Breathe. Ah. Breathe. Give me 15 more seconds. We're almost there. Don't stop. Remember, I wanted you at a speed where you can sustain, right? I don't want you going too fast where you burn out in the first 10 seconds. But get that knee to that elbow. Three, two, one, and beautiful job. All right, so this next movement, I'm just stepping onto the box, standing tall, and then I'm going to alternate. My goal is to keep this movement going the whole time. If you don't have a couch or anything to step on, cool. We're going to bust out those reverse lunges, doing the same thing. All right, so hope you're ready. I'm starting to feel a little burn going on already, and I am working on my, my zone, so I do want to keep up my heart monitor today. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So right here, I'm gonna try to always make sure my heel is on the box, or the couch, the chair, the bench, the stack of bumper plates, <laughs> whatever you're gonna be using today. I wanna make sure that the base of my power is always based off my heels, never on your toes, all right? Keeping that chest nice and proud. And now that we got the, the momentum down, whether you're doing reverse lunges or not, either or, I want us to go nonstop. Getting that heart rate up, breathing. Perfect time to breathe is to exhale on the way up. So I'm here, inhale, alternating, every time. Inhale, exhale. Now you got, the, got it down. Now you guys are ready to go. Come on, keep pushing, keep breathing. We're almost there. Push and breathe, push and breathe. Three, two, one, and perfect, relax. Great job, guys. Now we're gonna go into that reverse lunge to a twist. I want you to twist always to the knee that is up, all right? So in this reverse lunge, I'm gonna step back with my right, keeping that 90 degree in the front and, and the back. When I come up, my right knee's up. Take my time, twist to the leg that's up, all right? Really simple, make sure you alternate. Clock starts in seven seconds. In six, five, four, three, two, one. So facing you guys, taking that right step back. Tight stomach, powering up. Oh, good balance with a tight stomach. I'm twisting and I'm not going down until I finish my twist. I'm back up, boom, twist. Ah, I can feel already that one side feels a little imbalanced, right? It's probably why we're doing this movement. You can't just have one sexy leg, right? You gotta have two. So it's really, really important to try your best to get better at these movements. I'm not looking for perfection by any means, all right? I just want you to get better. So if you're stumbling around a little bit, it's totally cool. We're gonna get better. We're gonna get stronger. We got a total of five rounds today. For a lateral view, if you need to scale it down a little bit, you can take that reverse lunge, step in the middle to gather yourself, and then step up. Or you can go up all in one motion. I'm good with either or. But we have five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and boom. All right, three of them things down, baby. We have one more to go. This next one is a jump rope. So I want you to grab your jump rope, and don't worry if you don't have one. Just act like you have one and use Casper, the friendly ghost jumps rope, right? Hopefully I'm not showing my age too much. Y'all better know who Casper is. Y'all better know, don't make me feel that old. All right, hope you guys feel great. Clock says we start in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Good speed, good tempo. I wanna make sure that we can go the whole minute. This is getting our heart rate up and we're breathing. I actually wanna face this way so I want to see my my zone on my phone. I'm at 65% of my max effort. And for those that don't know what my zone is, definitely check out. We'll put the link in the bio. And you can order one directly from them or you can order one from us. I'm good with either or. All right, here we go. Clock says 30 seconds to go. Pushing and breathing, breathing and pushing. You know the routine, I'm getting in the green zone right now. Here we go. 15 seconds. Remember, after this 30 seconds of break, we get an extra 30 seconds of recovery. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 
six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Beautiful job. All right, so we get this 30 seconds to recover, plus we get an additional 30 seconds to recover. So it's always a good thing to, to get that done. And the other beautiful thing is when you're working out at the crib, your brother just might stop by with his shirt off. What's up, man? Are you gonna jump in the shirt, in the shot? You gonna say hi to everybody? Uh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys. We still have another 30 seconds, and then we'll start back to where we started. All right, so we're doing a calisthenic movement, Milton, just in case. Well, I'm gonna try to get him on for the, we're doing a 60 day summertime uh, workout. So while you're out in the summer, maybe I can get you in for a workout or two. All right, guys, here we go. We got 10 seconds. You need to go inside or are you leaving? Okay. All right, here we go, guys. Five seconds. Hand plank, incline position. Three, two, one. He didn't want to show his body off. I don't know why he was acting shy. All right, here we go. Now we're going to a, a familiar routine. This routine we've already done before, baby. Keep those hips ducked in tight. We're not trying to go as fast as we can. We're just trying to control that tempo. Control, okay? Keeping them hips down and you're breathing. Tight stomach. Look good. Feel good. And I just got to keep moving, right? Because I can't see the clock. <laughs> so I'm just keep going until I hear those beeps. Those beeps signify to me that we're on our last three seconds. So the focus points is keeping those palms flat on that couch, chair, the bench, the box, or even flat on the ground. Keeping those hips ducked in, opposite elbow to opposite elbow. I mean, excuse me, opposite knee to opposite elbow. And we're getting better and stronger with that core. Three, two, one. Woo. All right, look good. All right, movement number one is now completed. Now we're going to movement number two to those step ups. You know the routine. Oh, we could do our quick sweat check. Let me see. We're in the second round. Let's see. Yeah, starting, starting to drip off. Y'all seen that drip off the nose. Y'all saw that, right? All right, here we go. Clock. Clock says we got 10 seconds. Get to that couch, that box, the bench, the chair, unless you're doing reverse lunges. Hopefully you guys have something you can rig together while you're at the crib. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. And the reason why I know some of you are gonna be doing this at the gym, but I really love the fact that a lot of you are gonna be doing this from your living room, your patio, your backyard, at the park. So I want you to get used to using what you have. Obviously, some of you might not have a gym set up yet, but I think that's such a great investment. But use what you have, okay? The chair is more than enough right now, okay? Hopefully it's not a bar stool that's my height, but a chair or something you can step on that's super stable is what we're looking to do, all right? All right, clock says, I don't know. I'm gonna look real quick. All right, we got about 20 seconds left. I'm breathing, keeping that stomach tight, pinching those shoulders back, bobbing my head to the music, because I'm in my zone right now, baby. All right, come on, ladies and gents. If you stop, I stop. If I stop, you stop. Is that a deal? Come on. Keep pushing. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and booyah. Great job, guys. Next movement as you sip on some water is going to be that reverse lunge up to that high knee with the twist. Here we go. Heart rate is in the green zone right now, so it's blue, gray, blue, green, yellow, and red. For those that have the my zone strap, blue and green is the best zone to be in for body fat burning zone, which is where I'm striving to stay at because your heart rate is not working so hard. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Your heart rate is not working too hard and it's not in peak. And if that's the case, it's a great zone to be in to burn body fat. And I will do a, maybe I can do a, a uh, podcast on that to break down the science for that. Ugh. All right. So I noticed with this one, ladies and gents, I have to keep my stomach nice and embraced. Keep it nice and tight. All right. I'm alternating. I'm not trying to go as fast as I can because I'm dealing with a balanced civilization move. Okay. So I always will say and I always will plead out and declare that true strength uh, comes in true tempo. All right. Notice I just tripped up a little bit. I'm not perfect. I'm trying to get better too. 
Right, here we go, 90 degree in the front, 90 degree in the back. Making sure that front leg is doing all the move, all the work, I should say. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, my peeps. Next movement, fourth movement in round two is our jump ropes. Sip on some water. You guys are rocking it. I'm feeling good. I know you're feeling good. And you know the routine by now. If, you, if you're feeling good, you gotta be looking good, right? All right, here we go. Grab that rope, let's start on time. Grab that Casper jump rope if you don't have one like mine's. Three, two, one, and let's go. Oh, I wanna see my heart rate zone. All right, right now I'm in the blue zone. I'm gonna get to the green. I'm at 66% of my max heart rate. I can give a little bit more effort. So on my jump rope, I'm really focused on keeping my stomach tight. My breathing pattern, goodness, is gonna be a lot quicker, right? Ah, messing up. You're working those fast twitch muscles groups. So my breathing is more, right? Here we go, get that rhythm. Clock says, I know I'm blocking it. 25 seconds left. All right, here we go, got to my green zone. 71%. Let's go guys, let's go ladies. Knock it out. 15 seconds, give it what you have. We got a one minute recovery coming. Push and breathe, push and breathe. Give me what you got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Finally got to the yellow zone. Yeah. Yellow zone. Boom! Oh, now I'm in the green zone. There you go. I want you guys to see it. So 79% of my max heart rate. Way to work, guys. We just completed round two out of five. Woo! How you feeling? Make sure in the comment section. Let me know how you feeling in round two. Just comment below. Tell me, say, Chris, man, I'm feeling great. Chris, I'm a beast. Chris, I'm unbreakable. Chris, I can't be stopped. Chris, I'm killing it. I love power. Power affirmations, man, that's what it's about. Power and positive affirmations. All right, hopefully you're ready because we got 10 seconds till we start round number three. Starting with our core. Let's get it going. Clock starts in five, four, three, two. All right, here we go. Palms on whatever you're utilizing, okay? Keeping those hips nice and down. Core nice and tight. That's what I was getting tongue tied to say. And breathe, okay? All right, I'm dripping. Summertime, right? Workout number one out of 60. We are too hot to handle. That's the label of this workout. Too hot to handle, baby. Come on. Our goal is to get better and stronger this summer. I want to be better than I was 60 days from now. So I got to be consistent, all right? We got six days of movement. Our seventh day will always be on Sunday where we'll have some type of mobility workout, foam rolling session, deep stretching, whatever it may be as our recovery day. All right, here we go. Keep them hips in, tight stomach. Keep going, come on, don't stop. Stick with your boy. Breathe and push, breathe and push. Three, two, one, and relax. Wow. Let's go, let's go. All right, next movement, we got the step ups. All right, our goal is to continue to move, to not stop, to get better, not just physically, but also mentally, emotionally, for some of us spiritually. Hang in there, we got 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Clock says we have five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, all right. Alternate these step ups. Getting that other foot on, making sure that heel is pushing off. I'm never using my back leg off the ground to bounce up. I'm always using the leg that's on the box of the chair, right? As you work those quadricep muscles to develop and to get stronger, we're elevating that heart rate, keeping that stomach tight breathing, inhaling on the way down, blowing that air out. Keeping your chest up nice and proud so you're not hunching over, hurting your back by rounding it. We're keeping it loud and proud. Come on, keep those daily sweatshirts on, baby. Let them see those words. Daily sweat, 365, baby. Look good, feel good. Let's go. Can't stop, won't stop. Holla at us, Puff Daddy. Come on, breathe, ladies and gents. We're almost there. We're almost there. Don't stop. Good tempo. 
we're all rocking it at our own pace, at our own place. I like that. Put that on a shirt. Our own pace at our own place. Three, two, one, and relax. Ah. All right. Reverse lunge. So that more core movement. Twist into that leg that's up. Keeping those shoulders pinched back at all time. We're rocking it. I know we got our sweat going on. We don't need a dumbbell. We didn't need a, a kettlebell, barbell, torpedo. We didn't need anything. We just needed determination and a body that can move, all right? Here we go. Three, two, reverse lunge. Creating that 90 degree in the back. Keeping that front foot flat. Powering off that front foot. Tight stomach. Keeping that knee up, twisting, and not stopping until I finish the rep. You turn the same favor on the other side because I'm a beast. There we go. Good. All right, guys. Don't rush through this one. All right. And if you're stumbling, it's cool. We're going to get better. But some of you probably see you're doing a better job in this round than you did in the very first round. And that's what life is all about. Getting stronger and getting better. Come on, guys. We got 28 seconds. I need some go-getters in this room. Come on. I need some go-getters right now. Let's go. We're not stopping. Come on. Push and breathe. Give me another 12 seconds left. That means you can get one to two left. Tip. Nine, eight, seven. Let's go. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Uh, let's go. All right. Whew, I'm in the green zone, 70% max heart rate. I think we're literally halfway. We're at the halfway point. No, a little bit over the halfway point. A little bit over the halfway point. All right, 10 seconds, we got the jump rope. Because I know you and I are gonna finish on time. Let's make sure we start on time. Clock starts in five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. All right, the 60 seconds, sustainable speed. You don't have to do double unders or anything crazy, but I do want you working hard, all right? I'm working my rope. My rope is not working me. Keeping my stomach nice and tight. Quick breaths, working those fast twitch muscles. Yeah, here we go. Come on. Clock says we're 25 seconds in. Let's go, my people. Beast mode. Dead. Get back in there, Chris, come on. 25 seconds to go, guys. Ah, get back in there. Let's go, guys. Beast it out. Beast it out. I need that energy right now. I need that positive energy right now. Give me what you got. Let's burn out for the last 12 seconds. Let's go. 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Dig. Dig. Three, two, one. And relax. Ah. Fist pump. We got a minute recovery. All right, hope you guys are feeling great. You're working extremely hard. Keep it up. Sweat check. Yeah, yeah. Your boy dripping now, yeah. All right, clock says we about 35 seconds now. Bring that heart rate down. All right, you're doing amazing. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. All right. Get to that chair, the couch, the bench, the box, the floor, whatever you're gonna be utilizing. Keep those hips in, okay? Nice down, tight stomach, palms using the, using all the weight. Here we go. Let's get it. Round four out of five. Clock starts in five, four, three. All right, remember, hips are down, tight stomach. All right, incline position. All right, now if you are doing this flat on the ground, it will be a little bit more challenging, which is cool. All right, as I feel somebody probably went from incline straight to a flat surface right then, I'm good with that. But I'm gonna stay up here, because this movement is not really designed for this part of the programming to be very difficult. I want you to be sustainable, right? Because this is the very first movement of all four. Activating that core, waking it up, keeping those hips down, Activating those triceps by keeping those palms flat on whatever you have. Lats are engaged. Most of all, you're breathing, not holding your breath. All right, guys and girls, come on. Finish strong. We're almost there. Don't speed up. Make it difficult. 
remember, if you want change, you got to challenge. Because where there's no challenge, there's no change. Three, two, one, and booyah. Woo. All right. Look good, feel good, baby. Next thing up, we got those step ups. We're moving the whole time. Good speed. Beast it out. That takes place in about 15 seconds. Sip on some water like me if you need some. All right. Clock says five seconds. Let's go ahead and place that foot on there so we can start on time. Three, two, one, and let's go. All right, here we go. I want to be able to tap that ground and go right back up. I don't, I don't want each step up to last five to eight seconds, okay? Each step up should be about three seconds, right? So, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. One, two, three. If I can keep that tempo, man, I'm gonna keep that heart rate up. I'm gonna burn those calories, engage in those quadriceps, hitting those glutes and hamstrings just a little bit. Core is engaging nice and tight. Chest is nice and proud and we're breathing. If we're all doing what I just said, baby, we're getting better and getting stronger. Come on, feel like I'm in church. Can I get a witness out there? <laughs> Looking for an amen in the comment section when I read the reviews. Come on. Not the reviews, but the comments. Y'all know what I'm saying, I'm tired. All right, here we go. Towards the end, don't change form, don't compromise it. Make sure that heel's on there. Get that foot all the way up there, breathe. No mini me, step up, stand tall, stand proud. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Walk it out. Breathe it out. Do what you need to do. But I feel good about this, man. I don't feel like I'm killing my body right now, but I can tell on my, on my zone that I'm getting crazy good results right now. It says I'm already at 350 calories. It's crazy. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, reverse lunge. Taking that reverse lunge, keeping the shoulders pinched back. 90 degree in the front. Bringing the opposite knee up with a tight stomach. Twist to the leg that's up and come back to where you started. Repeat that all over again. Doesn't matter if you're on the, the first floor in your garage or maybe you're on the 80th floor in your high rise. You shouldn't be bouncing from the ground and stomping the ground real hard. These are really nice soft movements. Besides the jump rope, I know that one's a little tough to be really quiet on. But this one for sure, Nice, good tempo, and control, all right? We have 20 seconds left. Come on, don't you think that thought, baby? Finish this thing, come on. Me and you, 15 seconds. Dig and push. Form is everything. Towards the end, we're at the final couple seconds. Don't speed up. Three, two, one, and great job, guys. All right, last movement of the fourth round is gonna be a jump rope. Whew. Dang, I only have like a swig of water left, guys. So I'm trying to like sip on it. So I don't, I don't drink it all, but I'm about to go ahead and kill it. All right. Let's grab that jump rope. Whether it's Casper's or yours, grab it. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. All right, right now, I'm at 68% of effort. I want to get past 80 on this one, guys. That means I got to get moving. Ah, come on. My shoestring on tie, guys. I'm not going to break it. I'm going to still go with the shoestring on tie. Oh, it's messing me up. It's messing me up. Come on. All right, let's go. 35 seconds left. I got to tie the shoestring, guys. That's going to not work. But hopefully you guys are still going. All right, here we go. Don't uh, screenshot that on your Instagram. I know you guys. All right. I'm still at 67%. It's going to be hard to get to that yellow. <laughs> 15 seconds. Let's go. 10 seconds. Let's go. <laughs> ah! Oh, 79%. 80. There you go. 81. All right. I got there a little bit. There we go. All right. So, look, great job. We're there. One round left. One round left. This is it. This is it. Let's take it home. 
we have about 35 seconds till we get to our final movement. So on this one, it's all about um, it's all about mentality. We're all tired. We all know the form. We all know the order. We all know our strengths and also our weaknesses. But this is not the time where we give up. This is the opportunity where we find growth. So whenever you want to stop, think. I can either grow or not. All right, that's our momentum. Here we go. Plank in three, two, one. Either we grow or we don't. I'm looking at this not as a fatigue moment, not as a moment that I can't do it. I'm looking at this as the perfect opportunity to grow. Hips down, tight stomach, palms flat. Let's go. Look good, feel good, you know the routine by now. Day one of our too hot to handle summertime workout. Let's go. Don't speed up, Chris. Make it tough. I know when you hold that knee up there half of a second, it gets a little bit more harder. So I want you to do that right now, okay? And if you can hear me, I want you to do the same thing. Don't tap that elbow and go right back down. Control, control in, control out. Control in, control out. Keep those hips down. Come on, breathe. We're almost there. We're almost there. Last time doing this, take advantage of it. It's a blessing. Three, two, one, and woo. Good work, guys. Good freaking work. All right. Let's get ready. We got 20 seconds till we go to these step ups. All right, I want you to commit with me on this one, okay? For one minute on these step ups, I want you to commit to not stop. And if you stop, I want you to catch your breath and jump in immediately, okay? But commit right now. In three seconds, we're not stopping. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Foot's on. Come on. I love to keep my opposite foot on my step because I get more reps. But it's totally fine if you're bringing both feet down. But remember, our commitment, our growth moment right now is just to continue to move. All right. We're not stopping. We freaking beast. We made it this far. We're going to finish this thing, right? There's no way in the world we're going to start this lap and stop a couple steps before the finish line. Come on, man. It's the daily sweat. Whatever you start, you finish. Come on. Dig and push. Time is going by so fast. This is a growth moment for me. Come on, I'm tucking my shorts in a little bit, baby. It's summertime, man. Got to get those quads out. Let's go. Dig and push. Come on. Let's go, fellas. Let's go, my ladies. Come on. We're almost there. Nobody stops. Nobody stops. Come on. Last couple of seconds. Breathe and push. Get up there. Three, two, one. And booyah. Relax. Woo. Yeah. Fist pump. Give me some love. Yeah. Boom. Great work. All right. Whew. I'm at a 439 calories. Look like I'm going to finish this workout about 450 to 500 cows. I'll take that any day of the week. All right, here we go. Clock says we have about five seconds. Reverse lunge. Three. Me and you. Two. One. All right, we're going to that reverse lunge. All right, bringing that knee up. Twist to the leg that's up and back down. Right, tight stomach, shoulders pinched, come up, control, ah, that was tough, back down, let's go, We're not looking for perfection, baby, we're just looking for us to get better, if you can do that, you notice out of 365 days in a year, if you can do that, Mato, you'll get better, all right, give me a lateral view for the halfway mark, getting that knee up, Twist to the leg that's up, tight stomach. Pull the air out, Chris. Let's go, guys. Feel like a beast in here. Come on. Ah, get that knee back up there, Chris. Tight stomach. You got this, ladies and gents. We got 12 seconds. Come on. Breathe. Breathe. Earn that sweat. Earn that sweat. Five, four, three, two, one, and ah. Let's freaking go. All right, this is it. Take it home, baby. We got one minute of work after this next 20 seconds of rest, and we're gonna be done for today's workout. We came to conquer, and we're here. This is where winners win, right? 
quote that Mike has on my wall, Michael Jordan. Some people want to do, excuse me, some people want it to happen. Some people wish it would happen. Others make it happen. Let's go. Make it happen. All right, here we go. Last minute. Last minute. All right. Every time, guys. Every time. All right, I mean, I got to make up some reps. Ah, come on. Breathe. I'm not tired. I don't get tired. I get better. I don't get tired. I get better. Let's go. Goodness, 30 seconds. Maybe you like me messing up here and there. Don't get frustrated. Just keep digging. It's going to work out. It's going to work out. You got this. 20 seconds. There we go. Now you got the rhythm. Let's go. All right, guys, burnout time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and woo! Relax. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. All right, talk to me, my people. How do you feel? You put in some work today, man. Whew, let me get back down there. I know it's easy to breathe when your pathway's up. Uh, but it's funny when your coach and trainer telling you to stand up, you're like, dude, I'm trying to breathe. Leave me alone. But they're right. Stand tall. All right, once the clock beep again, we're going to go into our next set of stretches, which is going to be our final stretches. And then we're going to be done. All right, proud of you. Sweat check. Yeah, we got it in. We got it in. The sweat check. Yeah, we got it in. All right. All right, guys, here we go. So, full body movements today for conditioning, which is phenomenal. Let's go ahead and stretch it out. Let's go wide saddle. All right, left hand on your hip, right hand up. Lean to that left side and hold it. So, guys, man, hopefully you enjoyed this workout. And if it's your very first time, we want to welcome you to the Daily Sweat. Obviously, you know by now these workouts are out every single day, Sweat Sides, free of charge on YouTube, right? Gotta love YouTube. But the way that you can help us is just simply by subscribing and turning on your notifications if you haven't already. And please, this means the world to us. Just share. Share on your Facebook, Instagram. Let people know you're getting it in with us, and that means the world. Get to your left ankle. In the uh, comment section, at the description, you can see our tags where uh, Facebook is the Daily Sweat 365 and Instagram. We didn't get the name first. Somebody has it, but Daily Sweat underscore 365. Switch socks. Oh, man, I feel really good. But always looking for some, some positive affirmations on how you feel after today's workout. So in the comment section, definitely let us know how you felt. Relax. Love to know where you guys work out from. Squat down, last stretch, push out your elbows. I am in Houston, Texas. So um, a lot of you guys may be local. Some of you guys may be all over, which is incredible. That's the goal with the Daily Sweat is staying packed as many lives as possible. Three, two, one, and relax. Ladies and gents, that's it. Again, thank you for joining. I'm your boy, Chris. Make sure you create consistency by pressing play for tomorrow's workout. I'll see y'all soon. Take care. Yeah.